What's up everybody, Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy. Today on The Scoop, what is The Scoop about brushing your cat's teeth? What's that all about? Now listen, when we talk about The Scoop, this is my personal experience, my personal take, and I'm gonna put out this disclaimer right off the bat. Go and uh, have a conversation with your vet about such things, and that's what today is, my personal experience. There is our disclaimer. Now let's get on with it. So here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to your cat's dental health, sure. I mean, just like with anybody's dental health, you don't want to allow the formation of plaque. You don't want gums to get inflamed. You don't want all of this junk that's forming under their teeth to form and fester and whatnot, and to that end, and you would say, right, brushing their teeth seems like the right thing to do. I mean, it breaks all that stuff down. And that's great, that's fine. And I'll tell you, this is just something that it just kind of bugs me, is that for every time I take uh, our cats in for their general wellness exam, you know, once a year, uh, sometimes more often if they're seniors, a lot of times we'll get that little toothbrush pack, you know, with a little finger toothbrush, and then it comes back to our house and it, it sits in a drawer. I'm sorry, that's what happens. And, and it makes us feel like bad people because we're not brushing our cat's teeth every day because we know that for the most part, we didn't adopt our cats as kittens. It's harder to get a, an adult cat into it. And I'm not just willing, based on the results that I've seen in terms of my animal family's dental health, we haven't seen disasters happen, you know? So I, I just, I'm not not willing to risk it and and it just like I said I think it's a setup especially if you have multiple cats to expect to brush their teeth every day and listen if you can get away with once a week if your cat's cool with it and you have formed that positive association and you can get away with it once a week or once every couple of weeks or however often that you can do it then hey man do that just my truth man <laughs> few little pointers about brushing your cat's teeth because it sounds you know a little nightmarish the idea of sticking your finger in your cat's mouth or a brush or whatever uh, every day and that's part of the scoop because I agree but that said if you want to get started get started early what we do when we want to get cats acclimated to having their nails trimmed which has to get done has to get done every four to five weeks max you want to trim your cat's nails the, the way to do it is at first you start with just sort of you know touching the paws just touching I'm just touching your paws. Slowly you get yourself up to the point where you press on the, the, uh, the knuckle here and boop, out comes the claw. Then we get into the trimming of it. We try to make it a positive experience. Okay, so that's nail trimming. Now when it comes to toothbrushing, it would apply the same way. When they're young, you just want to start handling their mouth. You know, when you guys are hanging out. Now, of course, cats love to have their cheeks rubbed. Most cats do. So you can start there. A lot of times you guys might have seen this before when you have your cat rub up against you and you get into that gum sometimes and they're like, ah, 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 as you go towards up the cheek. That's where you go, you know, you're trying to handle their mouth. And then slowly we get to the point where, and of course this is very important, if you're using toothpaste, you're going to use a, an animal toothpaste, a cat toothpaste, not human ever, uh, because that could be very toxic to your cats. So you want to use it something that's species specific, but then you put that on your finger and then you're rubbing it in, you know, that kind of thing, then you graduate up to a brush. Okay, so that's very fast motion about how to brush your cat's teeth and there are much better tutorials out there that go into a lot better detail. But that's not the point of the scoop. The point of the scoop here is, is it practical? Can you do it every day? My experience is with most cats, no. And even if it is practical on a daily basis, how many times are you gonna do that daily before your cat starts to flinch every time your hand comes towards their face? No, God, please, no! Again, my experience is that that's what happens. We know what it's like when, when we have a cat with a chronic illness, they have to get medication every day. If we don't find a routine around it to make it somehow positive, every time you come up to your cat, they're gonna be like, what, what are you gonna do to me? Uh, I don't like this, you know? Uh, and, and that's a painful thing for us to have to go through. So if we can sort of moderate how many times we're gonna go up to our cat and mess with them to some degree, then in my opinion, we err on that side. And again, I can just see every vet out there just going, who is this Looney Tunes idiot saying this stuff? You know what? Call me a Looney Tunes idiot. That's your prerogative. My prerogative is to get on YouTube and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I, I have just found that the most effective way to make sure my cat's teeth are clean is to take my cats to the vet and have dental procedures done. Yes, they have to go an under anesthesia for that. That's why we only do it, you know, I mean, I go once a year maybe a little more 
and then make sure my cat's teeth are clean. Uh, that's a great way to do it. Um, in, in the meantime, yeah, I mean, I hear you guys out there saying, well, look, plaque forms within a day or two. True, but again, in my experience, unless there's serious dental disease that goes above and beyond plaque formation, I'm just not seeing my cats like wind up with rotten teeth um, or teeth that are falling out. I mean, granted, as they get older, okay, I hear you. I mean, if I were brushing my cat's teeth every day, once they get to 14, 15 years old, I wouldn't have to have that, that oh, can I bring them in for a dental or not? But your vet will be able to say, yeah, your cat's healthy enough for this. Look, guys, cats are living longer lives now than they ever have before. In, in the past, the idea of having routinely 17, 18 year old cats was not realistic. With advances in medical care, proactive measures that we take, better nutrition, etc., cats are living longer lives. So yeah, that question of what happens once they get older, yeah, I, I get that. And there's, I have no clean answer for that. But I, I just also don't like the idea that we can encourage our cats to accept an everyday brushing. I ju it ju and, and, and for us to do that every day, to get our cats down on the ground and, and whatever it is, even if we make it a vaguely positive experience, as often as you can, sure. You know, in my experience, taking them to the vet for regular dentals, that keeps their teeth clean. Another thing that you might want to think about, because you know there's this fallacy that dry food helps clean teeth, which it does not. That, that's not how things work with a cat's mouth. They, they, they don't clean their teeth by chewing, you know. Uh, but, but, if we think about how uh, cats more in the wild will keep their teeth clean, it's with the bones of the prey that they eat. So you can get bones, raw bones, never cooked, never cooked bones, that you can get at most of the sort of premium pet stores where you can, under supervision, your cat can chomp on these bones and that scrapes a lot of that stuff off their teeth. I would rather you do that. I would rather see cats uh, noshing on raw bones under your supervision so that's not something they just, you, you don't want to just have them walk away with it. And There's also a few other things you might want to think about. There are dental gels that don't require brushing but still help break down the plaque and that is just a matter of getting it in there and spreading it around and we don't have to go for the brush brush as much. You know, I get into this whole advice giving thing. I'm just thinking about me, my cats, my experience only is that trying to brush my cat's teeth, and we have a lot of cats, by the way, it's just not realistic. It's just not going to happen in my home. And I have not seen a ton of, of really painful dental disease uh, in, in my home. Now, and, and again, there's when we talk about dental disease, I'm going past the place of like plaque and, and gingivitis. Um, I'm going into things like tooth reabsorption, things like stomatitis, which are really painful mouth diseases. That's a whole different ball of wax here. But when it comes to sort of just proactive dental health, hey man, you know what? Put it on me. I am not as good as I could be with my cat's dental health. I try to do everything I can do, but I am just not gonna stick my fingers in their mouth every day. I'm just not. So the answer, shall I brush my cat's teeth or not? First and foremost, that's a discussion that you have with you and your veterinarian, okay? And you guys do what you think is the right thing. And like I said, I gave you a few little pointers about how to get your cats to accept uh, having their mouths open and having something, well, your finger or a brush in there. So I'm not gonna be the one to tell you don't do it. Don't ever brush your cat's teeth. I'm just trying to give you my perspective and that's what the scoop is all about. It's just what I do, what my family does, may not be the right thing sometimes but it's the thing that works for us um, like I said we've got seniors in our home that have to have meds every day that's about as much as I'm gonna do I'm gonna trim nails I'm going to give uh, meds as they need to be given every day and that's as much as I'm willing to risk breaking down the bond between my cat family and me um, so take that with a grain of salt or with a toothbrush or however you want to take it do your own research come to your own conclusions just what I'm saying today that's the scoop on toothbrush I am your cat, Daddy Jackson Galaxy, and until next time, we meet all light and all love and all mojo to you.